This is Dave with Dave's Racing Channel. We dropped by uh, Denny's Garage to visit with Rick and Denny, talk about the upcoming races. Uh, we got a small tire race, May 22nd, is that correct? Yes. And then um, we got the other one in October. Yeah. All right, let's cover this uh, small tire race a bit. What's, uh, what's the payout? Uh, well, for starters, it's a team race, so. Um, I made a video a while back. Uh, we got six six teams lined up right now. Uh, got uh, Team LJC Hustlers. We okay. got Team 417 Street Kings. Okay. We got uh, Buster's Racing Pack. And then I got three other teams that haven't sent me a name yet. But uh, one team's kind of like a mix between a couple St. Louis guys and Illinois guys. That okay. And then uh, I got two southern teams uh, ran by Chris Murdoch and Ryan Glass. Okay. Um, as far as the payout is, is, is we're trying to get eight teams, so it, 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 that will be able to let us pay out ten grand on that. Um, I'm two teams short, so that, that's where we're at. Okay. Um, who's any sponsors? Not at the not at the moment. We uh, you know, the whole COVID shit, and the, we're just starting a weather break. I'm going to get out and start beating the ground and try to get some sponsors on it. But uh, anybody that wants to be a sponsor, they can contact me and. Uh, I'll let them know what we're offering. Okay. Uh, also, is uh, Terry Wagner going to be participating? <laughs> I, I have no idea. Um, I haven't heard anything. So, uh, I'm sure uh, there's two spots open. So, I mean, they're, they're welcome. All right. I got a, another question on a small tire. Is that something we're planning on continuing going forward year by year with it? Is yeah, that the I goal? Mean, I, it, it's, it's something we're trying out. Uh, again, kind of like what we did with the... Uh, the street car class, we're going to try it out this way. We might tweak it a little bit. If it's okay. successful, we'll continue to do it. Um, we want to do, we want to get to a point to where not only do we do multiple races in this area, we want to try to branch out into, you know, several surrounding states. So uh, this and the MDR race. Um, so it's just, uh, you know, you got to crawl before you walk. Okay. Uh, speaking of out of state, um, what's, uh, what's some of the out of state guys? Uh, Illinois and Iowa are the only only out of state guys we got. Everybody else is from the four corners of the state. Um, Pretty far I, away though. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's I mean, that's you know that's Springfield good ain't, is a nice little hall, and uh, I forget what the other far southern state down there by Arkansas is or uh, county. Um, but uh, yeah, I no no I haven't I don't have anybody from. Uh, Indiana or Arkansas or Kentucky or Tennessee or no, no, nobody's contacted us yet. But like I said, there's still two spots open. So uh, okay. we got a couple people with us, the rest of extra people. I think one's down by Arkansas, but uh, we haven't got anything confirmed on any of that stuff. Okay, we got to sit down to be the same height. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. I want to see what it feels like to be tall. <laughs> so you hear that, people? There's two spots available. Yep, and yeah, that's well, two, still I still need two teams, so uh, call us or contact us, please, when we get signed up. I'd love to get all eight teams locked up. Um, I don't, I haven't contacted the team captains yet to get the run of their cars, but once I have eight teams, I will post all the cars that are going to participate and drivers and everything. And we want, I want to advertise all that for the fans um, that are going to come and spectate it. Uh, I just don't have a, I yeah, need two more teams. I got a bunch of phone calls from the spectators wanting to know what cars will be there. We haven't okay. really aired that just yet. Uh, I think Denny will probably do that. I, I posted some other day. Denny will do that pretty quickly because we're only we're only three months out, guys. So I mean, if you want to be part of this race, you got to get hold of Denny because once it's filled, I mean, we're talking about only twelve. We only need more twelve more drivers. Yeah. I mean, that's all that's left. Twelve more spots. Yeah. Uh, and there's like I said, there's I, there's I think there's four on a back burner looking for our team to be on. Um, so, and if I can find a small tire roller, I've, I've got a drivetrain. I'm, I'll, I, I've got. I can build a team too. I've got, I've got okay. enough to build a team. I think. Uh, so I might be the seventh team if I can find a roller and get it together quick enough. Okay, and that's May twenty second again. Mark that on your calendars. Yeah, bon Terre racetrack. Yep, Bon Terre. Yeah, and, and anybody you, you ask, you know, you ask about the danger zone. We, we don't hold a grudge. Anybody wants to race there, can race there. If, if he can find four people race for them. More That's the team right there. there. You know, I just don't know if we can get that many people in a small tire. All right, let's uh, cover the October race, which has been a great success these past couple of years. Uh -huh. it's, it's been unbelievable. Oh. I mean, uh, 
last year we had people from uh, South Dakota, is that right? Yeah. All the uh, way from South Dakota. Iowa, we've had uh, people like Ken Buster being there. We've had some good street, king, uh, street racers, I mean, street racers that well-known names out there. Uh, we got people talking about coming back this year. That We got new people already calling. And like Denny said earlier, we're trying to branch out to uh, other areas uh, that other tracks that might want to do some like this here. We would like to have, we, we do have the, probably the most biggest payout in St. Louis right now, and no prep race. Uh, if there's bigger, I don't know where it is. I'm not saying there ain't, but to my knowledge, do you know any bigger? I don't. No, I, I don't. Yeah. And, and I mean, I know there's bigger ones in other areas, but just around the St. Louis region, but I, don't, the, I don't know of any payouts for, for no prep races. Yeah, and, and I know so. some of these guys, especially street guys, I know they drive pretty far, and, and some of these events are just paying out couple thousand dollars I think I just saw one um and it's actually at a at a track and uh it was three hundred dollars to buy in for a twenty five hundred dollar pot or yeah. something crazy I, that's what I was say we, we only charge 250 that counts one pit person and we still guarantee that money so I mean and at this this uh with this uh team race the team race it's less than 200 I mean six people divided it's eleven hundred dollars to get in for a team, so it's like 180 bucks or yeah, something, 185 bad. bucks a person. Right, and that's a lot of money to win in one day. I mean, yeah, and, you, and the, win, the winning team's going to take home, you know, seven, almost right at 1,700 bucks a piece. Oh, so, so it's a good payout, especially you could be on a team and not win a race all day and still take home, yeah. take home prize. Yeah, as long as your team's consistent. Just, <laughs> and and <laughs> the thing about that team race, and I, you know, we watched it. We watched, everybody watched Fast in America and stuff. It's a pretty interesting thing, but I mean, you gotta you gotta keep your. You know, we're doing it in one day. We don't. It's not like you can break your car and go home for a week, you know. And the cameras are off. Um, these guys are gonna have to keep their team together and have a strategy to get to the end of this thing. Yeah. Um, that's kind of where we came up with the whole Survivor Series because you're gonna have to survive through three three rounds. Yeah. Yeah, because this thing about it, you can have the fastest five cars. If you don't you don't plan it right. You still go home losers. I mean, it's just for some fact if if it breaks your tires loose, or if you mix match the wrong person, if you you you, you line the wrong person, so it's going to be it's going to be very interesting. I, I think the fans and the spectators are going to like it tremendously. I, I, I'm pumped for it. Jarrett at the racetrack out there, he's pumped for it. It's just going to, and I, I believe this is going to accelerate. If it does do bigger, if it's just what do you like to do on uh, MDR race, we'll let it grow. And you know, and and, and, we, and a lot of people don't understand we don't. We don't get a lot of money for this stuff. So yeah. like we, we do this a lot for, you know, to have something local here. You know, I mean, I hate to drive all the way. I think it's Armageddon. That's an awesome race and stuff. Mm -hmm. those, are, those are four drives, you know, that, you know, drive out Oklahoma and stuff. And let people come here. That's, you know, it's kind of yeah. nice. I tell you we what. Got a lot of, we got a lot of fast cars around here. I mean, I, I don't I don't think uh, think uh, under, uh, I don't think I get the recognition. Um, there's a lot of fast small tire guys, a lot of fast big tire guys in this area. And, uh. Just don't get the recognition that some of the other areas get. Well, just from a fan perspective, I think it'd be neat just to watch how the teams are all set up, and then you know well, you're they, trying to put certain match certain drivers against certain you know. Yeah, I mean, and, it, and, it's, and, it's just a neat concept. We're, we're going to follow <laughs> you know? the basic format of that. Yeah. Um, they're going to they're going to have a hot, you know each team's got six drivers. Um, yeah. The way the first round is going to go is they're just going to draw out a hat. Like team one races the other team one, team two races the other team two, uh, and then you know it'll be a bracket style uh, as they eliminate. Um, and uh, they can rotate those drivers around. You know that every round somebody is not going to race on your team, but right. you know you might have somebody that's not doing good. You might want to fix yeah, your spot with something. Yeah, you team twice in a row. So once you use them that that race that that round, he or she is used. You can't. He, he wins the first one and said, well, we'll put him in race two. No, you're going to have to have five racers. You'd have six. Yeah, they're going to give me a list privately. They're, each team will give me a list, and then that's how the five racers are going to match up against each other. So you, you're right. going to want to place your five racers the way that you want. You're only going to be able to place four. I doubt too many people is going to sweep five and out. Um, so as they go into the next round, if you're down, you know, four to one or something, you're, you're definitely going to want to. You know, put a faster right. guy out and try to make it, try to survive. So yeah, there's going to be some strategy uh, along with it. So I, I think it'll be interesting. Well, guys, uh, thanks for having us out. Uh, glad well, we got to do this. Films, man. I, I hope I hope.
hope it gets out there. Yeah. Um, like I said, especially surrounding states, we're not far. Yeah. Where Bonterra is, it's only yeah. about three hours from Arkansas or Tennessee, um, far parts of Tennessee, yeah. uh, Kansas, Kansas City, different parts of Illinois. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. even the tip of Indiana. You know, I, I would love to see. I really would love to see a couple teams from outside. Yeah. yeah, not even Illinois. Like I'd like to see a team from Arkansas or Kentucky come yeah. up too, um, just to compete against I, some of the Missouri teams. I would love that myself. Uh, you know, we do got someone from Iowa. I mean, I love to see Kansas City. Kansas City and St. Louis always been a rivalry, and this is a really good chance for them. To, I know a couple a couple years ago they didn't do a, a, a street no prep race with uh, mm. Dace Rell and I, I don't know who else was involved in it, but it never came about. But if you if they think they got that many fast cars, well, here would be a great opportunity to not only uh, win ten grand or whatever, yeah, uh, but walk away with a crown and say, hey, we just beat two or three teams in St. Louis, we just beat an Iowa team, and we just beat you know uh, people down south. I mean, it 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 would be a very interesting to see who the last two teams are. It'd be I'm, I'm really pumped to see that. That'll get some attention, I'm sure oh, too. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think spectators are going to be yeah. better because we're talking about we'll have uh, about forty small tire cars that would come up to me and see six no, more. No, forty-eight. Forty-eight cars. Forty-eight cars. Uh, so uh, it'll be forty-eight fastest cars in the Midwest. So it, it, it's going to be pretty interesting. And I and maybe next year if it does really well, maybe we'll do a big tire, you know. But uh, we got to see what kind of interest we get from. Other Seems to be a lot more small tires around right now than big tires. That's why we went with the small tire and so and, and somebody a couple people's already done this team race with big tires. Structure a little bit different than the way that we did it, um, but uh, still pretty much the same format. Mm. Well, yeah, I appreciate you coming by and helping us out and getting it out for people. Absolutely. Um, I'll also see what I can do for the October race. I'll try to. Ask around, see yeah, if we can't get some people to join. Second, October first and second yeah. is the MDR race, also known as yeah. the Schaefer race. Um, Schaefer still involved in it, but they they went through some uh, changes. They went through some changes, and they're not going to be as directly involved in it as they want. They're going to sponsor it instead. Um, before they were trying to have it as their race. Um, and now they're they're we have got with the reps, and now they're just they're our biggest sponsor. Um, and they're a great company. I mean. Uh, it's worked out for the best of both of us. Um, the first one they kind of held, and we we did the footwork on it. The second one we held, and uh, we had sponsors from their reps, and that's the way we're going to continue to do it. Their reps are they, there's about six or eight of them, and uh, they get together with us and, and help us fund it and help us get sponsors and stuff like that. And uh, they're a great company and a great oil. Uh, this time they will have um, actually have some reps there with some product, giving demonstrations against oh, cool. other oils and stuff like that. So that'd be pretty interesting too. Yeah, that sounds fun. And one other thing about the MDR, real quick, mm -hmm. we moved that to October first and second because we were trying to not interfere with some other races going on the same weekend. Last year we pulled some cars from some other tracks. We didn't wasn't trying to do. We lost a couple guys from other tracks, which, which is always going to happen. I mean, there's just too many of them. But we, uh, we decided to go ahead to a little later date to allow everybody to have a chance to come this year and not hurt anybody else's race. So, because uh, we had 90, was it 90 cars got in junior drags for last year? Something like that. And I, I mean, so we had a, 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 a tremendous amount of cars. And the streetcar class did so well last year. I mean, we did that in the last couple months. We had almost 30 cars. Or did we? 28, 30, something like that. I don't remember. I think, well, a couple of people weren't able to race, but I think we ended up with 26 final that passed in tech and the inspection, whatever you want to call and I, it. I don't, yeah, I don't think we realize, but we gave out 10,000 big tire, 10,000 small tire. We gave out over 3,000 dollars in constellation race. We gave no, out every constellation. We had a small tire and big tire right. constellation race. Um, you won the big tire oh, constellation yeah, race, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, the small tire constellation race, I think Cam Stang won that. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say that was yours was fourteen hundred dollars. His was like seventeen hundred dollars. The streetcar class was a little, over, I think, right at two grand or twenty three hundred dollars mm -hmm. ish. Um, we ultimately ended up giving away almost thirty thousand dollars that weekend, um, wow. and and that's good for this area. I mean, you don't really have payouts like that. Even even when the big shows come through, they they uh, they have a bunch of brackets, but the payouts don't seem to be large payouts. Right. I mean, it, it was probably a minimum of three thousand, thirty thousand dollars. You figure up all the 
all the classes. And we gave, I think, 50, I think uh, Jason Dole gave out 1500 to the junior yep. director, and yep. then we, the, uh, Schaefer, gave an additional $500. So that was another wow. two grand. So they walked, we, we, we gave back to the racers around 30, 32,000 roughly. I mean, I don't know exact numbers, but I know it's somewhere in that amount of money. So that's a lot of money to give back. Uh, for just a $200 buy-in. And we were able to pay multiple spots, which yeah. is cool too. It's always, I mean, I don't know for other people, so I know some people are way more gangster than I am <laughs> and, and winner take all, but I mean, it's nice if you're not the winner, you still you still get a little bit of money yeah. in your pocket. Yeah. Yeah. I like it that you guys are also yeah. um, staggering the race a little bit so that way it's not interfering with others because I know of at least uh, uh, Ryan Mitchell, I think, said that he was thinking about it, but there was another race <laughs> going and uh, Maybe that Kendall going well, and, has and, something and, where he might want to put his foot in the race. And, and we we had a couple we had a couple bumps in the road uh, last year. We we added we added two more classes with the junior drag, dragster and the street class with with the uh, with all the consolation races. Trying to fit that all in in two days. Um, it, it there was a couple times we got drug out a little bit longer, but I mean we got remedies of that we've got with Jared. We're actually going to have a. a and this is going to change from last year because we, you know, there's a couple guys that were running late. We stalled for them. There's some guys that we're, we're going to run on a very strict schedule this time. Everything's going to have times and where it's going to come up, you know, when you're supposed to be up. And if you don't make it, if you don't make it to the staging lanes when you're supposed to, you're not going to wait on people at this time. It just, we can't, it, it drags it out too long. Yeah, we did pretty good on getting people to the, to, to the stadium, but we, we had problems with getting people to get lined up for the, the crews and get people there. We had, you know, accidents and this and that. And, and unfortunately, we, we're just trying to help so many people, but we're getting so big and so many people, we just can't do it. And like you brought up Kenneth Joan, uh, Goins, I uh, love having back, if you want to come back. I love having anybody. Wasn't there, but uh, not Kenneth Joan, um, Ryan Mitchell. Ryan Mitchell, but uh, uh, no, I wasn't, I wasn't talking about him either. I was talking oh, about Henriksen, maybe? No, no he's talking, talking about, about Peter Bond. Peter oh, Bond, yeah. Oh, Peter Bond, Bond. I'm Joey sorry, Heiko. Oh, yeah. yeah Joey Heiko. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we want everybody to come back. You know, uh, some people had, most people had a great experience. And, uh, you know, we're trying to be better every year. So uh, we're open for suggestions if you want to private message me or private message Denny, you know. Yeah, they trust me. I mean, we never want to see anybody go out of a race like that. Nobody wants to win right. like that or nobody wants to see anybody lose like that. It sucks, but the fucking rules are rules. You got to. Yeah, hey, I think you guys are very fair. Um, everyone who went there got their payout. You know, um, it was a great day. Uh, Absolutely. A lot of crazy fast cars there. That's Absolutely. why I was saying I'd uh, like to see if maybe someone like the Ryan Mitchell or Kendall going wants yeah. to throw themselves yeah. in there. I'd, I'd love, to, yeah. I'd love yeah. to see that. I know, I, I know they're both very fast cars. Um, I've never seen either one of them in person, but love to have them if they, if they show up, especially if they put a team together. I'd love to have them come down. Mm. And one last thing before we let you go, because it's kind of dragging on, but uh, Jared done a lot of upgrades. Yeah. Concrete barriers on both yeah, sides of the track. Yeah, no more guardrails. Uh, he's got, he's, we extended the track. Uh, we didn't. He extended the track last year. Uh, it's got asphalt parking. I mean, the track has really come along nice. If you haven't been there, guys, you heard a lot of bad stuff about it when it first got opened up. This track is ran professionally. Jared does a great job. The, the, it hooks up great. My 60 foot is. I race a lot. I travel all over the place. My season foot is as good there as it is anywhere else. Um, it's just a, it's a great facility, and uh, yeah. it's just getting better every year. And, and more events like this we bring to Jared, the more money we bring. He's a track owner that actually puts money back into the track for the drivers, and we really need to appreciate that. I, I do, anyway. So that's about it for me. That's, that's all I got. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you, bud.